DigiKey and Adafruit present That's right, everyone's favorite segment, I on MPI. This week is... TDK, uh, an InvenSense, which is the sensor sub-brand of TDK. I think this is our first TDK NPI, and TDK is known for their sensors. So this is why I was really excited to see this NPI show up on DigiKey. It's the smart bug. So this is the smart bug multi-sensor wireless like dev board from TDK, just came out. And it's you know about 80 bucks and is like jam packed with sensors. This is a really cool board. It's got an NRF52 840 in it, a battery, a bunch of sensors, and there's accessories. So um, there's this like add-on board, and this is kind of cool. It has an SD card for data logging, and there's like a built-in data logger capability. There's a time of flight sensor. That's that little thing hanging off with the cable. Um, it plugs into the side. I'll show that in a second how it plugs in. And on the back, there's an ESP32 module, so you can actually add Wi-Fi connectivity as well. It comes default with Bluetooth Low Energy. Um, that's what the NRF52840 does. It processes the sensor data and then you know sends it to your computer or your device for analysis. So the real thing that's going on here is you know that the Nordic is great, this Wi-Fi is great, but what's really cool is it's jam-packed with sensors. So you know we've really been hammering home like sensors are low cost, they're available. Um, there's so many sensors available from every company. And what we've noticed is that eventually these companies are like, we want to showcase all of the different sensors that we have. It's no longer like a company just makes a magnetometer or they just make a community sensor. It's pretty common for companies to have a full range. So here's the range, uh, the sensors that are inside the sensor bug. So you've got a motion sensor that's a six axis IMU. And um, this is TDK specialty. They're really good at motion sensors and magnetometers. There's a pressure sensor. Um, so this is good for barometric pressure or um, HVAC systems. There's that ultrasonic time of flight sensor you can add on. There's the temperature sensor built into the pressure sensor, humidity sensor. There's a magnetometer, uh, which senses magnetic fields. And that's used with the motion sensor uh, to perform uh, in, uh, IMU calculations where you do like inertial measurement or orientation measurement. And of course, there's a humidity sensor as well. Uh, in fact, one, uh, one that we really like, the SHT series. Um, the uh, humidity sensor, of course, can measure uh, ambient humidity, tell you if something is too damp or too dry. Uh, so good for environmental sensing. So this is a nice range of sensors. Um, the actual sensors that are included in the parts are listed here. Uh, the ICM42, uh, uh, 2688 is a new uh, IMU. Um, like most TDK InvenSense sensors, uh, this has uh, built-in um, motion fusion algorithms. Um, so if you use their SDK, you can actually do the sensor fusion on the chip and not on the microcontroller, which saves you a lot of time because normally you'd have to like get the data constantly and do the processing. This way it's done on um, the coprocessor, the IMU coprocessor. There's also the ICP10101, great name, barometric pressure sensor. Uh, the CH101 is the uh, time of flight range sensor. The AK09940 is the magnetic sensor that's used with the IMU for inertial measurement. Uh, the SHTC3, like we said, it's one of our favorite digital humidity and temperature sensors. We have a breakout for that chip. And then the main processor is um, one of our favorites, the Nordic NRF. 52840 and coprocessor uh, Wi Fi e with ESP32. It's actually kind of like, it looks like an Adafruit board. It's kind of something where we would design, right? Uh, we love the NRF52840 and we're kind of hoping maybe somebody will port CircuitPython to this board. So uh, the hardware is really good, but what's really great about this dev kit, which I liked, is the software. They did an excellent job on the software, and this is rare. Um, the software is available on the Windows 10 App Store, which is like the first time I think in a long time I've seen a development board evaluation software available on the Windows uh, App Store. The reason this is nice is you don't get any weird warnings like what is the software you're installing, you don't have to worry about drivers. It's like very nicely packaged and uh, looks great. And don't forget with Windows 10, you have native BLE support and that's how you're gonna communicate with the smart bug. Um, so when you get the smart bug, uh, you can plug it in or power it on. And then um, you just, basically I just opened up the app, I said connect via BLE, click pair, and it just worked. 
which was magic. I didn't have to install any tool chains. I didn't have to like get into my shell prompt. I didn't have to boot into like compatibility mode. It just worked, which is really nice. And there's a lot of great demos built into the software as well. Um, for example, they've got the classic plotter, but hey, you know, the plotter works really well and is great for testing all the sensors. As you can see, you can enable any sensor you like. Here, I've just got the accelerometer and gyro. You move it around, you get data instantly. You can change uh, the filter parameters on the top right, uh, such as the data rate and, um, you know, the low pass or high pass filters, and you can enable any sensors you like. There's also a couple cool application demos, which I thought was really smart. So, you know, the, the sensor data plotter is handy just for debugging, but a lot of people are usually evaluating these sensors for a product. So, for example, let's say you're doing like a health monitoring product and you want to use an accelerometer that can do uh, pedometer activity logging and tracking. Um, well, this demo called Apex is, does exactly that. It's a uh, pedometer demo, and because it's wireless, it's really nice. You just put the smart bug in your pocket, and over BLE, it'll track your steps. You know, I took a little bit of a walk around the room and watched as the screen said, okay, I've detected that you're walking or you're sitting, and then it can also detect taps and double taps. Um, another uh, cool demo that I liked was this HVAC demo. So I didn't even think about it, but yeah, like you could use the pressure sensor to tell you when your HVAC system filter needs to be replaced. That's a really good idea because you'll otherwise will get poor efficiency in your HVAC system. Um, so this demo just shows here's how you can set uh, interrupts for different thresholds and then, you know, LEDs or, or something can turn on uh, to tell you, um, or you can communicate with uh, you know, over Wi-Fi to an um, IoT service that'll email someone and say, hey, you know, filter number three needs to be replaced. So that was a cool demo. Um, the thing that TDK InvenSense, again, they're experts at is this IMU sensor fusion. So of course their demo, they have this cube that you can pick up the, um, the bug and you rotate it in your hand and the nine axis orientation follows along. And it, it's stable, it works great. There's very little jitter and there's very little, um, uh, drift. Uh, they've done a really good job and they, you know, they give you the Euler angles here. Um, check out the, the TDK uh, DMP processor, of course, if you want to do sensor fusion on chip. It's a very powerful capability that they have built into their, uh, micro, uh, their chips. It has a little microcontroller inside. And it's also why TDK InvenSense uh, sensors are used for VR and gaming. So, you know, if you remember the Nintendo Wii controller, that used an InvenSense processor. And the Oculus Rift uh, dev kit also used uh, InvenSense for um, head tracking and um, like hand motion tracking. Um, there's also a nice debug uh, panel if you want to know a little bit more about the BLE uh, um, uh, connectivity and you want to see, you know, what uh, data is being read from what characteristics. Uh, that's available if you just click on the uh, debug panel. Uh, that's a little bug pun there. Um, overall, I really liked it. I thought this was a, a really cool little dev board. I also thought it was really cute. You know, it, it goes far. A lot of boards are just kind of boring squares, but I think they made something that was both adorable, easy to hold, and uh, fully functional. And uh, I thought I'd just show it on the overhead real fast so people can see. So it comes uh, with two pieces, and I, I removed the screws, and thank you for making the screws available and easy to find. So when you remove the screws, um, on top there is a uh, light poly battery, and here you've got uh, the micro USB. It's kind of cool. It's got like an inline micro USB, so it's nice and flat. Um, there's a LiPo charger. There's the NRF52840. There's two LEDs. Uh, these are at least by color because when you plug this into USB, they turn green to indicate charging. Um, and blue to tell you it's in Bluetooth mode. Um, there's no on-off switch because it uses the accelerometer to know when there's no activity or motion, it will go into power down mode. So since I've been moving it lately, it's, it's blinking and letting me know, hey, we know that you're in active mode. If I let this sit for a half an hour, it'll automatically shut down to conserve battery power. And then this is that expansion port. So it looks like a 0.05 inch uh, header. Um, so you can use that to connect the Wi-Fi or time of flight sensor. And then over here, we've got all the sensors. So it looks like maybe this is the humidity sensor, magnetometer, barometric pressure. And then this is maybe the accelerometer, or maybe this is the accelerometer. I'm not sure exactly. Um, so all the sensors on there, a very nice, cute little design, some stuff on the back. And then uh, I really, I like how the, the LEDs kind of come out the eyes. It's nice. Yeah. 
All right, Good design. and uh, this is NPI and DigiKeys to place for the newest products. You could pick this up right now. They have a bunch in stock, and yeah. they'll ship it to you tonight. And uh, the short URL, digikey.com forward slash short forward slash Z5JW15. And you can also see the DigiKey part number. Yes. 1492MD42688P and D. And that is this week's INPI. Thank you, everybody. I on NPI.